is Praxis and I'm back on site today finishing up the exterior part of this closet. I've got the entire front here done, the front here done. Here's that little pocket where the, uh, the door handle is going to go in. I'm also going to do a little door stock like a rubber bumper thing so you're not banging the door against the wall. But uh, that came out pretty well. Uh, this actually has the board on the back side. This wall right here is the first floor uh, wall that I've been able to do boards on both sides of it. All the other uh, walls, I left one side open because I, I may have to run electrical or whatever through it. But this one doesn't have any electricity running through it. There's no plumbing running through it. Um, there's the plumbing that drops down from the top and then curves off that way. But otherwise, this is the first wall that I've been able to actually complete on both sides, and that's pretty cool. I want to show you just over here because I keep dancing around and I pick the camera up and do another one of those really gentle uh, moves over here. Because I wanted to show you, let's see. All right, I hope that was nice and gentle for you. And uh, yeah, you can get dizzy. Uh, I want to show you what I'm working on over here because I, I keep trying to get back over here and I will be working here soon. But I just want to kind of give you an update on what's going on here. We've got the post in, the back side of the post, this here. This board can come off because there is going to be electrical going through here. There'll be a little light switch and a lamp up here so that when you're cooking at the wood stove you can have some light coming down uh, at you. I'll make sure that I position that light so that it's not casting a shadow from the, uh, the chimney here. As you see, I've got the brick laid out. I feel like I've got something that I'm pleased with for the bricks at the moment. There's this little thing here that could be a, a tripping hazard as you come around here, but what I'm going to be doing is uh, this brick here is going to get uh, trimmed at a 45 degree angle right here, and I think that that is going to work pretty well. This board here represents a little cupboard that's going to be next to the refrigerator, so you have plenty of room to move through here. Uh, the bricks are actually going to cover the entire area. It's not just going to be a row of brick. I'm just kind of uh, delineating the edges here. Um, but yeah, I think that's coming together pretty well, and the wood stove will fit in nicely. You can see I've also got the mesh that I was putting on the other day. Uh, it's all anchored in with uh, screws going in with uh, big washers. These are actually salvage screws and salvage washers. From the old homestead, uh, one of the greenhouse roofs used this until I kind of changed it around to make it look nicer. Uh, but I kept them, and they're, they're finding a new home in here. Got plastic on the back, uh, this mesh here, and the uh, process is going to be, I'm going to start with the, the brick hearth first, uh, lay down some plastic so that the bricks uh, don't directly connect here, because I want the bricks to be able to kind of expand and contract at their own rate and not be stuck to the ground because as they heat up, you know, if things are heating and cooling and expanding and contracting at different rates, you could get cracks. So there's going to be a break with some plastic on the bottom. Then the bricks are all going to go in. Once I have the bricks, and they're going to go all the way through here uh, and terminate uh, just uh, flush with the stairs over there. Once I get that done, I'm going to take the stones that I've been collecting and do the stone work right up through here. This is a smaller area of stonework than I have at the other house, and that was one of my favorite features of the other house is the stonework. So I think because this is so small, I might have it reflected in other places, like back over here. I think walls like this, perhaps I might put uh, some stonework here, stonework it on the other side over there, and maybe in this area over here, which uh, from a preference perspective, if you had stone in this area, you've got a fortified shooting position, don't you? Because, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, bullets would fly right through this stuff, but if you got stone, uh, you know, you have a little bit of actual uh, cover and not just simply concealment there. So, that's where things are. They're moving reasonably well. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's getting a little difficult. I'm, you know, trying to have River be with me on site as much as possible so that, you know, he can be involved in the process. Now that we have electricity, he kind of plays some games, you know, his computer here and there plays outside back and forth. Uh, but we are about to head down to the stream because the treat for him at the end is once Dad's done, we head down to the stream and hang out by the water there for a little bit before lunch. That's it. Thanks for watching.